In Afghanistan, playing music is a crime. Instruments are burnt by the Taliban. But thousands of miles from home, the Afghan Youth Orchestra are breaking that silence at London's South Bank Centre. This tour nearly wasn't to be, after the Home Office refused to grant the musicians visas. I was shocked, I was heartbroken. I, I didn't know how to deliver this news to the students. I could not see any reason for this denial of the visa. What was the reason? They, they were scared that this group gonna stay here, they're not gonna go back. But after a huge public backlash, there was a U-turn, with the Home Office saying musicians are a valued part of UK culture, and the show did go on. It was really great. It was my first time playing in the UK, and I was really excited, and I, I love the people, how they were uh, clapping and shouting. It was really great. Even like the people who were supporting us, I was feeling really strong and I was playing and with energy. In 2021, after multiple attacks on their music school, the Afghan Youth Orchestra were forced to flee the Taliban to Portugal, where they now live in exile. I think being a human in Afghanistan is a crime, especially for women. Like, you're in prison in the house. Being in prison is a crime. Being human in Afghanistan is a crime. It's really terrible, the situation in Afghanistan. It's horrible especially for the women. I miss for my home and also for the memories that I had there. Do you miss home? A lot. You miss your family? Yeah, of course. I haven't even met my little sister yet. You haven't met your little sister? No, she was born after I left, left Afghanistan. And how old is she now? About two. Wow. Yeah. Have you seen pictures? And Yeah, she's really cute. But the internet is very slow. Talking to them is really hard. Back home, the Taliban targeted the orchestra's school, destroying their instruments. The women and girls who enrolled here were a particular source of rage for the regime. The school's director says the more publicity the musicians gained, the more angry the Taliban got. In 2014, they sent a suicide bomber in one of our concerts. We exploded himself within the audience. So several people were killed. Uh, I was injured myself. I spent three months in the hospital and received many, many treatments. Now the Afghan Youth Orchestra have had their visas approved by the Home Office, they're touring the UK. Music is something that can't uh, speak, but you can hear the feeling of the people. It's changed your life upside down. When I start to, uh, to play the music, and then it changed my mind, it changed my world. It totally changed my life, all my life. Before that, I just, I just thought I couldn't live. I, I was not a, a person, but now I feel that I'm a person. Since the Taliban took control, there's no music playing on the radio or TV stations. Musicians say Afghanistan is a silent nation, but this orchestra won't be silenced. <laughs>